Happy Tuesday. We are here at Occupy Penn State in, in State College, Pennsylvania. We've been hanging out here in the hub for the last couple weeks as a part of the global Occupy movement. And tonight and a few times previous, we've been having what are called truth circles and so we just finished up a nice truth circle. We had even more people, some folks just left. But we're making this video to share the process of the truth circle so that we can interface with other people um, amidst the Occupy movement. So the truth circle, people sit in a circle and um, usually it's good to have around 10 to 15 people, but you can have two people if you want. Um, and then we have these different objects. If you want to come closer, we set these this we set this blanket here just to kind of hold this hold the space for the circle. And uh, so we all just sit on the floor to ground ourselves because a big part of this practice is to just kind of take a step back from uh, our activism amidst the Occupy movement and have a place where we can all share our truth and our experiences and our feelings. And this is a, a general framework of how to do that. So we have these objects which people can choose one at a time and hold which represent what they're feeling. This bowl represents emptiness or loneliness, but these objects can also represent their, their opposite. And we actually have some other objects in the circle which kind of represent the opposite of emptiness. Um, so this is Palo Santo wood, which is, you can burn like incense, and it represents passion or love and you could say if you're feeling empty, it, it shows that there's an opportunity to become more passionate and to, to fill that emptiness with some sort of action. So another object in the truth circle that you can choose are these leaves, which represent feelings of confusion or feeling scattered. Another object in the circle is this rock, and its heaviness represents feelings of grief or fear or sadness. So if you wanted to share an experience about those feelings, you would pick up the rock. And this crazy little object here represents creativity or excitement. And if you want to share anything related to that, you pick up this morphing object here. The last item in our circle is this stick, which you could whack or break on your knee because it represents feelings of anger or frustration. And as I mentioned before, these these objects are, are just to set the general framework for it and we've been using these similar objects in the past couple truth circles and they've been very successful for allowing people to share what they're really feeling and when one person is speaking everyone else just gives them their undivided attention and then once they're done speaking everyone says something to affirm that we like to say aho, which means, and so it is. And, and then we like to just pause for a few moments until the next person speaks. And we usually don't give any kind of judgment or feedback on what anyone shares. We just let them speak their truth, then pause, then go to the next person. And within this truth circle, you can just sit and listen to other people's truth if you want. You don't have to share anything. Um, but it's a, it's a very nice framework for allowing people to express themselves. And we like to close the circle with just a moment of being or a moment of silence to, 
to close out what everyone has shared and, and to acknowledge what has happened. So that's a general gist of the, of the framework. My name's Kevin, I'm a student here at Penn State. Would anyone here like to share any tidbits about their experience in the truth circle? Would you like to hear? <coughs> All right, yeah. Flip it around. Hello, I'm Silvio. I'm a student here at Penn State, and I'm involved with the Occupy Movement. And the truth circle is just a great way to inspire things in you that you may not have even had access to before. Hearing other people's truths you can relate to and you can really work some things out that you don't normally have time to. And, and the objects are a great way for expressing emotions that you may not choose to throughout your week. And it brings people together and it connects people in this community that we have developed here that is Occupy Penn State. So I think it's great. Aho. 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 I'm Matthew. Um, this was my first Truth Circle. Uh, I've certainly had great experiences before of sharing very open uh, communication. And this is really refreshing to experience what is, I think, a really rare occurrence in in our modern day lives, um, to actually have something that's open and direct, it's really nice to experience that kind of communication. I think it's it's very important as I accidentally become slightly antisocial to plug back into real open communication with others, uh, finding that that uh, some symbiotic feeling that that some others may need me as, as I need them. So um, really refreshing, I think. A good, a good thing, I hope to do this again. I hope. I hope. Anybody else wanna share? My name is Dan, I'm a student here at Penn State. And um, I like these truth circles a lot, just for the fact that it gives me a an avenue, like a way to just unload the things that I just put on my shoulders a lot. I tend to really harbor a lot of my feelings and the stuff I go through. It's given me a really good way to just put it out there because I know there is no judgment in the circle. This is a pure place for just for you to say what you're feeling and to hold that emotion in your hand for it to be like this like a thing in you, like you are mm -hmm. feeling it. You put it back in the circle, and that's where it stays. Until next time you come, mm -hmm. you have something else to share again. And that's why I really like this whole concept. So it's helped me a lot. It's very good. Aho. Aho. Anybody else want to share? Hello, I'm Martin. I'm a student here at Penn State, uh, involved in the Occupy movement. And for me, uh, this was my first truth circle. And uh, what I enjoyed the most about it is, is we go through lives, uh, our lives every day, with these worries and fears and stresses and whatever. And this is a place where we just say, let's just relax. Just yeah, everything's okay. And really, really settles you down. Helps, uh, helps you out. Aho. Aho. Anybody else? My name's Asher. Um, I'm a graduate student here at Penn State. I've been involved in a lot of different uh, spiritual practices of varying levels of intensity in my life and um, the thing that I really like about the truth circle is that it gives it's, it's very accessible anyone can access it and it's also deeply meaningful um, I think to anybody 
there's not. It's 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 deeply spiritual. It's deeply real, and yet it doesn't involve any dogmas or creeds or any any um, any judgment that they was mentioned. this free and open space that anyone, you know, no matter where they're at, can come to and contribute something very meaningful and receive something very meaningful. <coughs> and uh, I think it's very good for those reasons. Uh -oh. Any last words? So once again, this has been an overview of our Truth Circle here at Occupy Penn State. And the Truth Circle is, I've heard it also as called a Truth, truth Mandala, and I believe it, it, it may have originated from the teachings of a woman named Joanna Macy, which I'll post a link to some of her work. Um, but just to quickly summarize, you, you sit down in a group of around 10 people, and it's, it's a way of grounding down and each person speaks one at a time and picks up an object that represents the different feelings, things like anger, love, passion, grief, sorrow, pain, emptiness. It holds a space where we can share stories or experiences and have everyone else just give the person speaking their undivided attention while they're speaking. It's a very powerful practice. We encourage you to try it out in your area and it can work in pretty much any setting. It's really incredible. So thank you for watching. Please post a comment if you have any questions or, or whatever. We'd love to connect. So happy Tuesday. Peace. Circle at Penn State.